Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Pokemon Mirage of Tales. In the last episode we started our journey, learned uh, that our character has a pretty deep background story. He's from an orphanage, uh, he's orphaned, and uh, he's had a tough life being bullied and all that. Um, but in this episode we are going to try to move past that. Uh, so we learned that the first gym leader we need three Pokemon to take him on. So uh, I did sell a full heal. Uh, one of the ones that we received, and we have, we still have one more. And I was able to buy a Pokeball, which are now $500. So, uh, money's definitely going to be on tight supply in this game. Uh, so with the two Pokeballs that we now have, uh, we're hopefully going to catch some Pokemon. I don't know if we'll even be able to take on the gym later, since he'll probably be pretty challenging. But anyways, we're going to go in this cave in this episode, and we're going to try to find some interesting Pokemon. I have an idea for what I want to catch, but um, we'll see as we go. I would like a flying type. I don't know if Zubat's the flying type I want, but we'll see. Um, I think I know what ground type I want to use, and it's not Geodude, so we'll see. Hopefully we'll be able to take out this Geodude. We could use some experience, so uh, that'll probably be the main point of this episode. And we will probably need to go heal a few times. And we did just learn Powder Snow. So as you can tell, Azradon does learn some interesting moves. Uh, let's take on the next guy. Powder Snow will be useful against these ground types. And uh, yeah, so if you look at the Pokemon's typing, as you can see, um, Azradon has the typing of a... Uh, like what Curse has and those moves that are question mark, question mark, question mark, so it's not going to be hit super effectively or ineffectively by anything. I'll probably have to go heal up soon, but we'll continue for now. And we still don't see anything that we really want to use. Uh, let's see what's down here. Um, okay, we'll go up and fight that girl. Looks like there's a ton of Pokemon, but I don't have enough money to buy repels, unfortunately. So we're going to have to kind of tough it out for now, at least. Let's talk to this girl. And Oddish. Alrighty, we can Ember that. And Nidoran, we'll go for Ember on that as well. Powder Snow does have more PP, so I guess we can use that most of the time. And let's try to get out of this cave as soon as possible. Alright, so... Looks like our good rival is right here. Dave, you made it. Hey, guess what? You know how my dad used to work in research? He gave me his old Pokedex. It still has all his old pages in it. Cool, huh? I think that's the job I'm gonna pick. Dad also gave me this, but I don't think I'm gonna bother with competitive battling. So you can have it. Alright, we got the Versus Seeker. That could be useful. Uh, probably signals that this game will be pretty challenging, but that's alright. And... Alright, we're gonna run together. At least we get to avoid the wild Pokemon. We made it off the mountain, isn't it nice here? Makes a change when you've lived in the mountains all your life. Hey, look who it isn't. Kiana and Dave, the two saddest people in Avlar. Kiana, you're nothing but a spoiled brat. Nobody likes you. Except you, Dave. Having no family or friends means you're stuck with her. I've caught three Pokemon already. I'm going back to Cliff or Clifftop Town to thrash their gym leader. Can be my warm-up. Oh god. Alright, this isn't going to go over well. Let's go for Powder Snow. And, uh, let's see how we do against him. Hopefully this takes out Geodude in one hit. Which it does. And we don't grow to level 9. That's alright. We'll go for Ember. Against his Ace, I suppose. And that only did three damage, so hopefully he doesn't get a crit. We should be fine. Ooh, focus energy. He's probably going to get a crit now. It'll do six damage. We can live with that, I guess. Oh, we get a crit. All right, that's nice. Hopefully we don't have to use our potion. I'd rather not. We'll go for Powder Snow against Slugma. Which could be an issue. As long as it doesn't burn us. Uh, let's just keep going for Powder Snow, because I think Ember would... Uh, also be ineffective, and as long as him, oh god, that's not good. 
So we're going to go to sleep. And I only have so many potions. Come on, wake up. There we go. Alright, so that was kind of hard, but we beat him. Alright, you only won based on sheer dumb luck. Mark my words, I'll get my revenge on you for this, you little runt. Alrighty. Wow, Dave, that was brilliant. You've never beaten Steve in anything before. <laughs> Did you see the look on his face? Ha ha ha, I have to go now. I'm itching to catch more Pokemon. See you soon, pal. Alrighty. So let's continue on here. I'm going to definitely heal up at the Pokemon Center uh, before we do anything. So if there are trainer battles, I'll try to avoid them. Here's a Nidoran. I wouldn't mind using that. Um, let's see, Nidoran as well. Alright, we are in Sogan Suburb, which I think we were told last time to go to the Researcher. Uh, let's try to find the Pokemon Center first, before we do anything. I guess we're not allowed to go upstairs, that would make sense. But, um, let's talk to this guy, alrighty. Okay, let's see, Sogan Suburb Community Center. Alright, welcome, you're a new face. You haven't been to a community center before, have you? Let me give you a tour. First up, this is, the main area. this is the main area. Locals and travelers alike come here to talk about what's going on in Avlar, what's going on with themselves, and what's going on in general. Everyone is sociable. This is the trading table. Most of the time people come here to trade items, but sometimes Pokemon too. This is the library. As you might have guessed, we read and discuss books. Alrighty. And that's it. This is the layout of all community centers. Alrighty. Thank you. That was very helpful. Let's see if anyone wants to trade items or anything. Okay. Uh, I'm not a good traveler. I have a bad leg. Okay. I'm looking for an X defend. Want to trade it for a big pearl. Alrighty. Well, I'll try to find one for him, definitely. That would be helpful. Uh, do you have a poison barb? I'll trade you a white herb. Alright. I think the first trade was better, but... Let's see what's going on in Avlar. Oh, that guy said a bad word. Alright. Okay, I think he was talking about shiny Pokemon. And this guy's talking about Master Trainers. Alright. So let's go heal up, and then we will catch some more Pokemon. Which was my goal all along. Okay, he's talking about selling illegal Pokemon. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we don't need to go in the Mart just yet. I do want to talk to everybody, because... Um, there might be some interesting stuff that I don't know about yet. Ooh, alright. Eli isn't home at the moment. He has lots of fans. Some of the crazier ones have even tried to break into his house while he's gone. Okay. Well, we don't know who Eli is yet, but I'm guessing he's probably the gym leader. And here is the herb shop, which we really don't have money for yet. And I might have been in here, so let's actually buy a couple of Pokeballs. And then we should be on our way towards catching three Pokemon and battling the first gym leader. So we'll probably do all that in one episode. Ooh, I do like Rattata. Yeah, I'm going to catch it. I never use it, so let's go for a Pokeball. Hopefully this will be enough. I don't want to attack him again because could take him out. I do have to nickname this thing now. I have no idea what to nickname it. Um, hmm. Let's think. It's a female. Let's think. Let's think. I'm going to name it. I would name it Jerry if it was a male. You know, Maria is the first name that came to mind, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. Might as well just stick with names for this one. Uh, Lonely, alright, that's really good. And he has guts, so that should be helpful. 
Uh, definitely, I'll have to remember that he has Guts as an ability. And as our other Pokemon, we'll see what we can catch, but... I'm thinking Nidoran. Either male or... I'd rather a female, actually, this time. Since I do use males a lot. Let's go for Tackles. And... Hopefully he doesn't get poisoned. Alright, let's go for a Pokeball now. Alright, there we go. Um, so... Since... Nido Ran does eventually evolve into Nido Queen, I guess I'll name it... Uh... I'm gonna name it Liz for Elizabeth. So I'm probably gonna mess up spelling Elizabeth. So there we go. Um, might as well uh, just stick with people names for this playthrough. That'll probably be the theme. Maybe I'll evolve Azradon at some point. Let's check out Liz's stats bold. So that's why it was taking hits so well. Um, I'm going to try to level up Maria first. Uh, because we'll learn quick attack, which could be helpful. Oh, Deerling. Wouldn't have expected that already. So let's try to take it out as quick as possible. Almost lost to it. We're going to run back and hopefully take out the gym leader. We might have to train up a little bit. We'll see. Um, let's try to get... Alright, Maria didn't level up yet. It's probably close. Yeah, alright. We'll battle one more Pokemon. Just to... Make sure it's level 7. There we go. And learn Quick Attack. That's what we wanted. Let's run through this place really quick. I guess I could hop on my bike. That would make sense. And I think this is the quickest route up. Alright. I'm surprised uh, Rattata doesn't have Runaway. That would probably be its most likely ability if I was making the game. But let's heal up real quick. And second episode, we already will be facing the gym leader. Whether we can defeat him or not is unknown, but... Uh, let's save our game. Oh, okay. He talked to me before I even pressed A. Alright, welcome, young trainer. I'm Noah of Clifftop Town, the first in the official order of Pokemon Gym Leader Challenge. should inform you of the fact that references from We Gym Leaders will be worthless to you unless you hope to become a gym leader yourself someday. Of course, you are still welcome to take part in the challenge, even if you wish to train your Pokémon. Do you come here to battle me, young one? Yes. My preferred Pokémon are of the ground type. I've always loved them since I grew up in the mountains. Of course, they're tough, too. I'll show you. Uh, let's hope he's paralyzed if we don't take him out. Alright. Come on, I got so close. We tied him, too. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, we did some training. Azrodon is now level 13, Radita is level 12, um, and Nidoran is level 11. Might not be enough to take this guy out. Um, it'll be close, since his Pokemon are amazing. But we're going to start with Azrodon. Uh, Sandile gets an Intimidate off on us, which isn't very important, uh, and a Leer. But we're going to go for Powder Snow. And it'll do about 60, 60, 70 percent. He's going to have two or three potions to use, so wasting them on sand dial is not a big deal. That's who you want him to waste his potions on. We're actually going to get a crit. All right, I'll take it. Um, probably, uh, I don't know, it could have been better, I guess. Or it could be worse. Um, because I did want him to waste another potion on Sandile, but I guess we're just going to have to live with him having a couple more potions in the bag. Maybe we'll get another crit, who knows. Uh, we'll just go for another Powder Snow, there's really nothing else we can do. Could go for Glare on Cubone, uh, but I'm not going to. He's going to focus energy, now he's going to potion. Maybe we'll get a freeze, I think Powder Snow can freeze. Uh, at least in this game. And we'll be able to take him out with the next hit. He does get frozen. Alright, great. So that's really helpful. We're able to take him out. We haven't taken any damage yet, so this is working out very nicely. 
uh, for his last Pokemon, which has been the problem so far. Fanpy. Let's go for a Glare. Oh, we need this thing paralyzed. It can learn Rollout, obviously, and uh, it also has Takedown, which is pretty annoying. One of my... It's like my third or fourth time <laughs> taking this guy on. Uh, one of them, I actually ended up tying him because his takeout took out me and himself. Uh, so, that kind of really stunk. That takedown did a lot. I forgot that we were leered, which is unfortunate. Probably should have switched out. Oh well. I really needed him paralyzed. And he might take himself out here. No, okay, not quite. We're going to go for some quick attacks. Maria. And Maria does take it out with that stab quick attack. Alright. So we finally beat this guy. And we learned Hyper Fang. Might have been useful. Probably would have been useful for the gym battle. Sorry if I just shook the mic. You won fair and square. Very well done to you. You should be proud of yourself. You've won your first reference from a gym leader. Alright. So we got Noah's reference. Uh, which is nice. Before you go, please accept my gift. Alright, TM28, probably dig. Yep, alright. So, um, there you go. Uh, so we haven't really chosen our career yet, but uh, if we want to go down the trainer path, uh, we can since we did just get our first reference. Um, but anyways, it helped level up our Pokemon. Did have to do some grinding. This episode might be really short, who knows, because uh, I probably have to edit a lot of stuff out, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, hope you guys are uh, telling me what career you want me to play as. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.